It's time to get ready for a rummage sale rumble. Rummage sale day. See what people have donated to a church in the area. See what we can find. And unfortunately, see if we've missed anything. Shoes. It's a madhouse over at the shoe section. Looks like it's for a college. fill a bag so you fill a bag for X amount of money but I just don't want to buy stuff just to buy stuff you know they have no sweatpants Those are awesome. person put their return address on them, but these will grab. It's a nice canister stuff. All sorts of stuff. Easter. You know, a little coffin. I know they can be pretty dangerous. Ray Dunn. I don't know anything about Ray Dunn. Georgie in there. And Martha. Those are just prints though. Maybe. Aw. 1972. The silhouette. Sometimes these were done at Disney. 
These are nice. If you need a suit jacket, this is the place to come because you can get a whole bag of them for probably ten dollars. Oh, suit jackets. Wisconsin. Tell that wasn't Wyoming. Like we even have Dorothy's slippers here. I don't think these are the originals. Dancer Dorothy. Some costumes. There in the big blue house. Oh, it's a mermaid tail. Someone made that. This church does the fill a bag sale. It's probably one of the best ways at a rummage sale to move your donations. Because as I overheard one woman say, people will buy uh, the biggest bag size, which is a garbage bag size for $15, and they're just throwing stuff in there. They don't necessarily need it or want it, and as a woman said, she's like, when I get home from the sale, I look at the stuff I bought and I ask myself why. <laughs> you know, fill a bag, whatever you can fit in it, whether you really need, need it or not. I think in that moment, you're like, yeah, I can fill this bag. So they have $5 bag, $10 bag, and $15 bag, which is the largest bag. I didn't buy that much and Taco Stacks was there and he had some room in his larger garbage bag. So I put my stuff in there. And did I miss anything at the sale? Because of the last rummage sale, I missed something. I know as a reseller, how can you miss anything? You should be able to see everything and know everything. No. <laughs> I had a viewer, a few viewers in my last rummage sale video told, tell me that I missed the Chemex. And I was like, what? I didn't. There weren't any Chemex there. Well, what's a Chemex? I know what a Chemex is because I follow a content creator on Instagram that has her own coffee company and she shows how to make different drinks, how to do pour overs using a Chemex, which is a glass fancy bottle for coffee pour overs. And I've seen her use these and I know that they are not cheap. And so I thought there weren't any Chemex at, at this rummage sale. So I went back through the video and sure enough, my camera, I would just go oh, right by it. Two Chemex in the box for $2 each. I didn't see it when I was at the sale and I didn't even notice them when I was editing. I think it's kind of like when you are looking for something in your house, in the refrigerator, it can be right in front of you and you just don't see it. And I think that's what happens at rummage sales. There's the whole, there's a table over there. There's tables there. There's tables there. There's people here. There's people there. There's arms and hands everywhere, you know, reaching for things. And I just didn't see them. And the Chemex would have been a great buy because they do sell depending on the size. And if they're new for 25 to $30 a piece and at $2, that would have been great. Now, did I miss anything at this sale? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you, you could, if you wanted to, and if you wanted to make a lot of people mad, probably just get garbage bags and everything on a table, just put it in the bag. All the sweaters, you could fit them in the large garbage bag. All the pants, put them in the large garbage bag. All the shoes, all the you know, large garbage bag. Thankfully, no one really does that at this sale. People take their time going through the clothes, looking for their sizes, looking for certain brands. There were a lot of people at the shoes when we first went in. I think that's where the people in front of us in line, they just went right to the shoes. Me, well, I just looked. <laughs> and what did I find? Well, because this sale is in the Easton Peaberg area, I do occasionally find Easton Peaberg stuff. And we got this guy, PHS State Liners. Um, it is a super sweats brand made in USA. Great Phillipsburg sweatshirt. I do not have one like this, so add it to what I can wear to the flea market, working around my place, etc. Also, sweatshirt wise, I found this cutie piece on earth with the little penguins. Great for Christmas time, and also just when I'm working 
from home, I like to be comfortable. And these vintage sweatshirts just feel good. They're soft, they're not restrictive, and I really enjoy wearing them. So we picked that up. Um, I got some envelopes. I think Taco Stack actually got the other box of envelopes. I use uh, these smaller size more often. So we got those. And we also found Winnie the Pooh. Uh, this is a bank. Now you probably think, oh, Winnie the Pooh, Disney, worth a lot of money. No, it's not. <laughs> but it was cute. And I think this was the first thing that I grabbed because I wasn't sure what I was going to find. Too bad this wasn't an Alice in Wonderland themed. But you know, I can still take this to the flea market. Probably get a couple dollars for it for anyone that likes Winnie the Pooh or if anyone is decorating a baby's room or child's room in Winnie the Pooh themed, this would be great. Another Disney item that I got that I was so excited about <laughs> were these. They're still in the original bag. These are vintage Donald Duck flip-flops for little kids. A few are on eBay. You know, you're, you're not retiring on these. They're just fun, as I like to say. They still have the original tag, Disney Pals, made in Hong Kong. Uh, another quality product from Meriden Footwear, Canton, Massachusetts. And they actually still have the original price tag. They were at Super Shoe for $1.49. I'll take a bunch. I really like finding items that still have the original tags, price tags, and I mean, this still has the original packaging. Because you think, you know, these are probably in someone's attic, basement, drawer, just for years and years and years, and they're like, hey, the church is having a, a sale, let's see what we can find. And then they come up with these beauties. <laughs> they're so cute. And then I also picked up a piece of artwork. Um, I'm guessing this looks like pen and ink. It's just a, a scene, there's a building and a tree. It, it looked neat. I liked the green, that's what drew me in. And so that was it. Now maybe I missed something really great as I was going through. Maybe I didn't miss anything. I, I probably could have just, you know, filled the bag with odds and ends of clothes and all that stuff, but I didn't. I picked out what I could use. I wish they would have had a pair of sweatpants. Last time at the sale, I got a really nice pair of sweatpants. Champion brand, not expensive if you buy them new. No, expensive if you buy them new. And I got them for probably, since I filled up a whole bag for five bucks, less than a dollar. And no sweatpants this time though, unfortunately. <laughs> but I know that this, this church, they, they do empty out that all the donations and people enjoy going to the sale and it's a great way for them to raise funds for whatever they, they may need uh, for the church. And it's a nice sale to go to, you know, it's not too hectic and I always can count on at least finding something that I like. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you are out and about at your rummage sale, hopefully you don't miss that one thing that you've been looking for or that surprise item. I know I try and tell myself uh, to remember to take my time and look, but sometimes it just, it just doesn't happen. And if you see Chemex out there, <laughs> grab them because they, they do sell well. And if you are a coffee brewer or a drinker of coffee and you wanna try the pour over method, it's a great way to, to start. I've never done it. I missed my chance when I could have got Chemex for $2. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this rummage sale. Plenty of more rummage sales to come, and I hope that you enjoy me for all of those adventures. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time for the next adventure here at Paper and News. Mm -hmm.